little body told me. A little body told me. Just reading that title, I honestly think that this entire short really goes to show that Fluttershy can't really handle things on her own without the help of the animals. Because let's look at this short. It involves Fluttershy and Trixie along with the other classmates doing their assignment or doing a test. And then uh, during midway through the test, thanks to Fluttershy's powers, the birds completely come inside the classroom and completely talk to Fluttershy thanks to our powers. And this actually completely... This actually convinced Trixie that... She, that Fluttershy is actually cheating because she has toddlers of three, which actually put her foot down by telling that Fluttershy is cheating. Yeah. She actually thinks that Fluttershy is cheating, but as it turns out, Fluttershy wasn't cheating whatsoever because the birds were just completely talking about other things which actually uh, wasn't involving the test that Flash is taking. And if you really don't believe me, when Trixie still decline, uh, is still not believing anything of what Flash is saying, Flash decided to do something that you probably don't usually expect her to do in the show itself. She completely writes down all of her answers on the test on the board. Which, even though that takes so much idea, even though that's spoiling so many people in front of the class, but since that's not really the point. And she managed to get everything right without the help of the birds. Yeah. That really goes to show that this short is basically a fool you. You completely overthink about this and the fact that Flush I can do this on her own. And I really have to say, this is just a really great accomplishment in the fact that Fluttershy can't cheat whatsoever because we all know that cheating isn't always the right thing to do. And then when I actually completely see this kind of stuff for the first time, I honestly think that this really is a missed opportunity to have Fluttershy being in the main focus of a special for her own. And as far as I'm concerned, I really think that fanfiction really didn't need to do all the work because let's be honest it took me weeks to complete the, the magic of mom the, the magic of mermaids so much that i actually got a headache to actually complete it but then again we really had to do the the things that hasbro can't do because of what they're dealing with right now and as for trixie she actually thinks that the birds actually talk and actually think that she can actually, that she actually thinks that they can help her complete the test. So much for cheating, really goes to show that she she can't even do two wands don't make a white. She can't even do two wands make a white whatsoever. But then again, this is before a forgotten friendship, so I honestly think that hope of behavior in this really is really justifiable. So I actually really enjoy this short for what they're trying to do involving uh, Flush Eye and Trixie. And considering that this is during a time where we get multiple shorts each and every week, and this is possibly before the Choose Your Own, the first Choose Your Own Endings comes out, I honestly think this is pretty much a great way to actually make Flush Eye really entertain in one of the shorts. It's just a shame that she didn't get a special of her own. I give this short a, uh, an 8.5 out of 10. Yep. Yep, I completely gave this short a good rating, obviously. But then again, I'm trying to figure out ways to give these episodes some kind of a rating. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow.